Foo Fighters Rope. This is a Patreon upvote. Thank you, Patreon folks, for forcing my hand. Had you not done so, I probably would have not put myself <laughs> through this. This was very difficult to figure out, and hence I made you a tab. It's not that difficult to do, um, but you should go get the tab. It's free for everyone, no strings attached, ryanlent.com. Show notes, but the title, of course, is in super secret backwards code, so no ne'er do wells can horn in on our super secret information. Rope, string, bikini, but it's winter, sweater bikini. Dave's really cool intro grab the fifth fret of the E and the B strings with your pointer finger, and then if you want to be like Dave, use your ring finger on G7 and your middle finger on D7. I prefer to use pinky and ring there, but you use whichever fingers you want, so long as they're your fingers. We're going to take this shape and we're just going to move it around. 5 and 7, 12 and 14, 8 and 10. Twice, of course, on that one. And if you throw your delay pedal on, it's triplets, if you have a delay pedal that does triplets. I thought for an instant that it might be 7750, and that sounds all well and good until you throw the delay pedal on, but I put it on the tab for you to consider anyways, and you can do it if you want, but I don't think it's right. I like this one especially. With that note. But that's Chris that. Chris gives his verse part up in the intro, and thank goodness he did, because it's the time we can hear it best. You're gonna use the shape that I said wasn't right for Dave. D7, G7, B5, E, open. And the pointer finger is gonna come off the B string. Up to the 12, 14 one, and the pointer finger is gonna come off the B string again on the same exact rhythm. And then when we're down to the 8-10 one, the G string is going to be opened up, so whether you're using your ring finger or your pinky finger, it comes off of the G string. B string. B string. G string. That's Chris's verse and Chris's intro. And the fill. The fill is actually pretty easy, but it's fast. It's 7-5-0 on the E string, followed by 7-5-0 on the A string. I would do pull off, pull off on the E string, because it's fast, and then you have time to pluck all of those, or you can pull off the first one, and pluck the last one, or any combination of plucking and pulling off you want. That's the fill. We've already discussed Chris's verse, but Dave's verse is going to be on the same rhythm as Chris's verse. It's going to be E7 and A5. Then the same shape, so to speak, A9 and D7. And then we're going to do E10 and A twice. Followed by the open A string. But every other time, it's not the open A string, it's the fill. And the fill eats into that second. So you're only going to get to do the 10. So here's the whole verse. of elimination, Pat Smear is doing a harmony with Dave when Dave's on the 10 and 8 one. When Dave's going E, 10 and 8, Pat is going A, 8 and 7. So with, you're hearing, you could actually do both of those at the same time. Grab E, 10 and A, 8. That's ring pointer finger. And when you move it down to 8, 7, you'll have middle and pointer finger for a quick transition. <laughs> Or, of course, on the fill ones, you can do that. You don't have to do that if you've got three guitar players in your band. Someone should certainly play this one. You know, in honor of Pat Smith. The chorus is pretty simple. Thank you. It's going to be just G, E minor, B minor, and 
and A. I have a few things to say there. The G is normal. Watching a live version, I thought I saw Dave play E minor 7, which is like G, but with no middle finger, so you've got the open E string. Chords are completely interchangeable in this scenario, so do whichever one you prefer. On the B minor chord, someone or everyone is leaving the baby E string open, so it's not even a bar chord. Yay. And on A, there's a noodle. I'm guessing it's Chris. You're gonna bend the B string second fret, pull it off to open, G2, G open. So, G, E minor or E minor 7, B with the open, maybe E string, and part about playing this song because you get to do the, the fast fill and then your hand has this moment where it like Superman flies when the open A strings ringing out to get to that G chord. It's my favorite part. <laughs> Thought I'd share. Ooh, I heard the E minor thing. It's regular E minor and then we're gonna reach for the B string third fret that makes it an E minor seven but we hear the arpeggio of the open E string, the B string third fret and the G string after you hit that E minor. So G, E minor. Final answer. For the rising musical action, the I go noose part at the end of the chorus, it's gonna be G power chord, that's the E string third fret, followed by four, seven, six, and then an A power chord, that is the E string fifth fret. The same thing, relatively speaking, six, nine, eight, and then back into the. So, G power chord, funny shape, A power chord, funny shape, and so forth. If you don't want to do the whole funny shape, play two finger power chords, and then you just have four, seven, quite a bit easier. A, six, nine, kind of you of Blackbird. You can do that if you want. And Dave's got an octave solo after the chorus. Octaves are two of the same note. We're gonna be on the A string second fret, for instance, and the G string fourth fret. This shape is gonna stay the same, so I will just call out the A string fret and the G string fret will move along in kind. It's gonna be two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve the first time, and the second time the ten, twelve is replaced with 1512. But really, you can do any of those octave chords in any order you want and it will be completely fantastic. There's only one and a half things left to discuss and then you will have all the pieces for this song. It's the bridge. We're gonna have a B power chord. That's the E string seventh fret. Down to the E string fifth fret. That's A. Back up to B and then we're gonna grab D on the A string fifth fret, but there's a fifth in the bass. All that means for you is instead of just five, seven, seven, starting on the A string, we're gonna have five, five, seven, seven, starting on the E string. This is still a D power chord. We're just putting an A in the bass. There's already an A in our D power chord. It's there, look, it's the octave shape we just talked about. So now instead of just D, A, D, dad, we have A, D, A, D, a dad. And then we're gonna move up to E in the same fashion. So, D, A, B, B, E. Cool drum fill. When it adds the end part, it's G on the third fret, A, low E, which is the power chord open 2-2. Two, two. So our whole entire thing is whole bunch of times until it adds the next stuff. pieces. I think even though this is going to be my record amount of schmlay through mistakes, I should schmlay through this one. So look out for that, and uh, I hope that was fun and helpful. I'll see you next time with very similar stuff. Thank you, and goodbye.